let us now discover ways to reduce, reduce and prevent the effects of obesity. So one way to prevent and minimize the effects of obesity is to decrease portion sizes. Uh, we are all familiar with the uh, deals such as pay 50 cents more and upgrade to a large combo. These deals uh, trick people into buying large portions of food at low price. Most of the time, the food you're served at a fast food restaurant is more than enough to satisfy your hunger. And because of that, people are consuming too many calories over the calorie intake. Uh, this is what you are normally served at a restaurant, and this is what one serving actually looks like. That's 1,380 calories compared to 680 calories. So instead of um, buying what seems a more affordable, more food option, you can opt to buy smaller portions of food. That way, you can, uh, your, that way your calorie intake does not suffer and you can eat more healthier foods throughout the day. Another, another way to decrease the effects of obesity is to exercise. Studies have shown not only does exercise help with losing weight, but it helps with mental health. According to an article on the Mayo Clinic website, last set is updated on February 5, 2014, the benefits of exercise include both muscle strength and endurance, getting better sleep, and overall feeling a good mood. This is due to the brain chemicals being stimulated by physical activity. The Mayo Clinic recommends people to engage in physical activity 30 minutes a day to live a healthy life. But if you're someone like me and hates uh, exercising, that's totally fine. Exercising does not mean to go out and run a 26 mile marathon. Uh, doing something simple as easy as walking can count as physical activity. So now that we learn more about obesity and its health risks and what we can do to uh, prevent it, let's conclude this speech. It is important to understand the effects that obesity pulls in the health of the family, friends, and to our society. First of all, I discuss the health risks of being obese. Secondly, I revealed two perspectives on who's responsible for this epidemic. And lastly, I recommended two ways to prevent obesity and stay healthy. Our goal should be to aim to diminish the number of people who are currently obese in the United States and to assure a healthy living for our future generations. Let's put an end to the obesity epidemic. Thank you.